see. What is the messages for Leo? Happy birthday, Leo. Let's see what the messages are for you at this time. Please like, comment, subscribe, turn your notification bell on so you will not miss any of my videos. Leo. Mm -hmm. They'll be back. Somebody coming back, Leo. We are in Mercury Retrograde. <sighs> what is the message here, Leo? Somebody's manifesting for either you to come back or they're telling the universe like, man, I want to hear from that person. I want that person to talk to me or I want to be intimate with them. Yeah, somebody's planning to be intimate with someone during Mercury Retrograde. Whoever this is is planning to come back. They could have challenges or something here is like very challenging here when it has to do with their health. 111. So maybe you need to pay attention here, uh, Leo. We have caution, health, and challenges. Somebody's health could be challenging them. We have a Taurus, a Virgo, or Capricorn. Open up your heart to a fire sign, an Aries, a Leo, or a Sagittarius, and then let go. Mm. Somebody's trying to make room to go on a honeymoon with someone or, or have a date night and then be intimate. What's the message for Leo? Yeah, date night is here. Somebody's trying to go on a date. A gold digger? <laughs> Somebody's trying to go on a date here. It could be a gold digger that's trying to give it time. But they're lying about who they're sleeping around with or who they have in intimacy with or who they have chemistry or who they could be reminiscing about during Mercury Retrograde, Leo. So there could be challenges here regarding someone like uh, health issues could arise because somebody here needs to find out more information or maybe you need to find out more information about this earth sign that wants you to open up your heart. But it's like, no, it could not, now is not the right time. Cause like I said, like two, 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 we, we can't look at all this. Somebody just has a lot or they just, somebody's manifesting a fire sign. So you could be dealing with the fire sign such as yourself. I feel like this fire sign could be letting go the idea of having a honeymoon or what the narcissist yes because whoever this is they must have used their intuition when it had to do with this narcissist and realized that somebody's trying to open up another karmic cycle leo child somebody's trying to have another go around here a narcissist could be yeah a fire sign like i said somebody's trying to date this fire sign they want to wine and dine or maybe you're the fire sign that's about to get ready to be wine and dine because this energy could be coming back they could have been manifesting you leo <laughs> I feel like you could have let go of the idea of having intimacy with this person here. Like, okay. Oh, I don't know why I just got sleepy like that. Oh, wow. Like, I just yawned. Excuse me. Something here could be a bit draining. Mm, maybe somebody here is draining. All right, Leo. We have the Knight of Swords. Yeah, you could be dealing with a Gemini. I feel like this person is rushing in fast, okay? Very quickly, yes. Somebody's manifesting you. Ace of Wands, they want a new passion to begin in. Somebody has chemistry with you. They want to sleep with you. They have new ideas. Let's, let's, let's try this over again. I feel like you are the one for me. That's what they saying. They said, you are the one for me, Leo. We have the Hierophant. This could be someone here that's married. They're already in a commitment, but they may want to date you, wine and dine you. Maybe they tell the truth. They're like, well, I'm married. I got a wife. Y'all got a girlfriend on the side, but I want to wind and die. <laughs> I want to wind and die you. I want to know what love is. I want you to know. <laughs> What's the fire sign going on? What's the fire sign here? I want to know what love is. Yeah, the sun card. Somebody's ignoring something. Maybe somebody could be ignoring you, Leo, or you're ignoring this person. You're like, nah, I don't see that. Or there's the truth. Or somebody's trying to ignore the truth. Or they're trying to act oblivious towards what's coming out. Or somebody's ignoring their son or their child, literally. This could be someone here ignoring a son or ignoring you, Leo. But something here has already been exposed and seen. And they're like, uh, we're going to just act oblivious or... <laughs> 
I don't know what you're talking about, but the sun is here, clear as day. It's been seen or somebody's been exposed or their family has been exposed about this. But yeah, so somebody has been trying to betray their family, the Ten of Swords. Or they could have been trying to punish a healer or a star or have this person to like collapse or be in their head with the Eight of Swords due to some type of inheritance here. Okay, so give me the Knight of Swords, Leo. What's the Nine of Swords? Yeah, somebody's rushing in like, oh, I apologize. I love you. I'm so sorry. Baby, could you please forgive me? I like you. I want to date you. I'm still, I still, I don't know. This could be like a pop-up. Maybe this is like a pop-up apology. Like, man, everything I've done to you, I apologize. Can you please forgive me? But what the fuck is up with this fish in this cup? We got the four of cups. Yeah. Somebody here just wants you to like be bored with getting justice or they don't want you to get justice here. And I feel like this, you are, you could be a Libra or a Cancer. What's the page of cups? Yeah. Somebody don't want you to take it there, but I'm getting you're going to take it there anyway. The Emperor. This could be the father of your kids. This could be an Aries coming towards you with an apology. Or like I said, the father of your kids. Maybe you don't want this apology. What's the emperor here? This could be a manager, a boss, a CEO. What's the emperor doing here? The emperor could be an Aquarius. So the emperor could be like um, healing. Yeah, the emperor could be like uh, healing or... They could be like um, needing some type of inspiration or healing or something like that. This could be an Aquarius. What's the Emperor in the um, star? The Page of Pentacles. Yes, yeah, so I feel like somebody's trying to learn ways on try to heal or, you know what I mean? Like I said, that this is why. Like they could be trying to like um, learn. They're learning from you or they're a scholar. It could be an Aquarius that's learning from you. Mm-hmm. Because, look, I feel like somebody here is going through a backfire and they want to see how they can get out of that shit. The Eight of Wands is in reverse. <sighs> All right, what's manifest in the Ace of Wands? The Five of Wands. Yeah, I feel like somebody wants to come out of conflict. They don't want to argue anymore. They're not jealous. They're like, no, I don't want to fight no more. I don't want to argue. You could be dealing with another Leo or a fire sign. But I feel like somebody here just wants to make peace. Yeah, because I see that they see that you're moving forward. You're self-sufficient. You're independent. Virgo energy. You can have Virgo placements. And I feel like this energy is like very much worried or they're focused on the fact that you're going to move on. Or somebody has nightmares of you moving on or you leaving. I'm here. Leaving with all that money. Ah, what's five of wands? Ace of wands. The four of pentacles. Yeah. Okay. Four of pentacles. The queen of cups. So somebody's holding on to a cancer or Pisces or a Scorpio, but they could be trying to manifest you back. Or this person is going to be holding on to this person or they're keeping this person tucked away, but they want to hold on to you. We have, because in reality here with the tower, their foundation is shaking. We have the ten of wands and the tower. This person has to put in a lot of work to move or to walk away from a situation. Give me the queen of cups for pentacles. The hangman, yeah. I feel like somebody's detached from this person. They're manifesting you back, Leo, but they're detached from this Pisces. This definitely is a Pisces here, or a Pisces is detached from them. Maybe someone here wants to hold on to this person for security reasons, but they're trying to manifest you back to have a new passion to begin with you. So they're trying to come out of the cold with you. Like I said, this could be the father of your kids. This could be your ex-husband. It could be an Aquarius. It could be an Aries. It could be any sign, or it could be another Leo. What's the hierophant? So somebody here that works for this uh, uh, organization, this could be a high level soulmate. They kind of want, they want a commitment with you. Somebody wants to invest, or they want a commitment with you with the four of wands. They want to be together now when nine on the clock. Or this is someone here that's married and they're out dating. Like they're, <laughs> they're married and they're out dating and manipulating people with the magician in reverse. This is hilarious. What's the higher thing? We have the six of swords. And they're lying saying that they moved on. Like, oh no, I moved or I'm not fucking with that person no more. I ghosted them. So why you ain't get a divorce? It's not hard to get a divorce. I don't know why, who this is. It's like, 
I don't know. Somebody's like making it seem like it's so hard to get a divorce. No, the reason why this energy is not getting a divorce is because one, they still are intertwined with their, their husband or their wife. Two, they're sleeping around with this person. They're getting something from this person. Yeah, something here about independence, but they're making it seem like they're single. They get something from whoever this husband or this wife is or this organization. They get something from this. So they could be making it seem like that they're single. They're coming off very single here, Leo. But they could be married. They could be married to this queen of cups, but they're holding on to you. Or you could be the queen of cups and somebody's holding on to you. But you're detached from the situation. So whoever this is, they have a scarce mindset or they're trying to... They have this queen of cups where they can control this person. Mm. What's the six of swords and the hierophant? The nine of cups. They're not going to get what they want. Mm -mm. They better go on head on somewhere. Either this person is married or they're in some type of long-term commitment. Everybody sees this. Okay, this person could be lazy or they indulge a lot. Yeah, so they want to come towards you. The Nine of Wands will chase you or take action towards you, the Queen of Wands. Somebody wants to, like, this could be, like, something sex-based that somebody wants. And they think you're going to fall for this shit. <laughs> What's the Nine of Cups? Because they see that you're attractive. What's the Nine of Cups in reverse? They're not going to get what they want, like I said. Yeah, justice. Somebody who's going to get bad news when it has to do with these legalities. This is why they're trying to date this person or somebody's trying to date this Libran. Because they don't want they don't want this person to get some type of justice, fairness, or they don't want something here to happen for this Libra. And I feel like it's gonna happen anyway. This is why they're trying to come to this person. Yeah, this Libra, this Virgo that they've betrayed with the Ten of Swords, a King of Cups did. So you can have Libra placements, Virgo placements, or whatever this is. Like there could have been some type of somebody trying to end this Virgo. This came out in a cancer reading, 12, 12 on the clock. Somebody tried to end the Virgo. They could have been like bad mouth of this person to the courts. Could have made it seem like this person is a bad parent. Or if they are 1220, we're catching so many synchronicities. 1222. All right. They could have made it seem like this person. I don't know. They just could have bad mouthed them. They tried to curse them or they could have called, tried to cause them some type of bad ending that would result in some type of deep wound that this nine of pentacles would have needed to heal from. All right. But I feel like whoever this is, there's something here is not going their way. They don't have any inner joy. Or they're not satisfied the outcome of justice. This is cause and effect. And I feel like it's in an upright, integrity, balance. Whoever this is, they're mad because it's not going their way. Because they was the one that did the betrayal. Yeah, four of cups. It's a no. <laughs> this connection. Yeah. Whoever this is, they're not working together with this energy no more. Three of pentacles. They're like, we're not working together with you anymore. Like, you're not fair. You're not truthful. You're not honest. You don't hold up the law. You are unskilled. Like, we don't want to team up with you. Nah, this not going to work. Damn. Because <laughs> it's like bringing a knife to a gunfight. You feel me? <laughs> Whoever this is, 1333, it's like bringing a knife to a gunfight. Seriously. I got distance. I can get you from long range. You got to come up and get close and personal to me to betray me. But I can get you from all the way over there. You see what I'm saying? So it's like bringing a knife to a gunfight. This Queen of Swords was ready for this attack. This Queen of Swords was very intelligent. And they know the secret here. The secret is out. The Queen of Swords. This is like a knight coming to a queen. Like, first of all, you take orders from me. You don't give the orders. You bow down to me. The moon in reverse with the ten of swords. The secret is out that somebody try to ten of swords. This person betray them. And yet, and then they still go and try to attack this intelligent one. Somebody with Gemini placements. Try to attack somebody with Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius placements of feminine energy. They still try to attack this person. Knowing that they have the gift of discernment or they know about this attack. And it's like they keep on with it. And then they try to play like, oh, the two of swords, oh, I'm ignoring this truth, or I don't know what you're talking about. Fuck out of here. Give me the two of swords, the sun. 
the wheel of fortune i don't know about any fortune i don't know about any large sum of money what are you talking about the truth is here something here is faded to be seen with the sun card somebody's like well i don't know what that bitch talking about that bitch lying that's what i heard that bitch lying fuck you but then they go like yeah we did try to take him out for some fortune though i did try to take my soulmate out yeah, I did try to do that for some fortune. But then they want to sit up here, 15, 15, want to sit up here and be like, oh, you're crazy. You're delusional. You sound crazy as hell. Nobody tried to take you out for no money. What the fuck type of money you got? You ain't got none. The will of fortune is all about good karma, luck, fortune, a will, literally. Somebody's fate, their destiny. They're trying to act like they don't know what's up. What's the will of fortune? Now the tables is turning on these energies here. Yeah, the lover. Somebody's fated to be with this lover. Somebody's fated to be with this lover. Or they feel like they're fated to be with this lover. Somebody feels like they're fated to be with this Gemini. Or they're fated to be with the Sagittarius. They're like, oh, we're fated to be together. What are they talking about? This is fate. This is how it's supposed to happen. I'm supposed to unalive you so me and the Sagittarius, so me and the Gemini can be together. What type of shit is this? What's the will of fortune in the lovers? Yeah, we're supposed to work on this. Or somebody was 16, 16. They're skilled as hell. This is a high priestess that's intuitive as fuck. Okay? They know what the hell is going on. Somebody does this. This is their line of work. They're a spiritual practitioner. They're intuitive. They're psychic. They have knowledge. They know what's going on or they know who they're fated to be with. But I feel like whoever this is that has been trying, thinking they can hide some type of secrets about this Ace of Pentacles, they sadly mistaken. It's not happening, Leo. Give me the Eight of Pentacles. If somebody here is doing work on a high priestess as well. Somebody pays attention. We have the Six of Swords. Somebody pays attention. Now they're going towards the truth or they've been guided to from to go and get the truth with the Ace of Swords. Their ancestors has guided them to get the truth. Now this energy could be having like a breakthrough as to seeing that who's been trying to steal, lie, or they could have been trying to cover up some type of Ten of Pentacles here with the Judgment Ten of Pentacles right here. 17, 17. This is like somebody wanted to take somebody's fate or their destiny so that way they can be a millionaire because they felt like whoever said person didn't deserve to be a millionaire or they, they didn't deserve the accolades or they didn't deserve whatever was left for them because they um did the right thing. And I feel like there was a other energy that didn't do the right thing. So it was like, how dare justice go in your favor and you did the right thing. And I try to snake you and fuck you over. How dare justice go in your favor? Oh, wow. Talk to your cousin about setting you up to unalive you as soon as I split the deck. Let's see who this cousin is. Yeah, because I'm getting his cousin envied you. And they could have did some mirror magic. Beauty brings the full package. Somebody could also be a CNA. What's the messages here in closing? Coming to try and steal your sexual prana energy. Wow. Whoever this is, they're not the baby father. It's a white woman. We have $2 million. Manifesting for you to be in poverty. We have $50,000. Getting fake tarot readings to cover up a lie. So somebody's a fake ass reader out here. Lying and saying that divine feminine is a bad wench or a prostitute. So somebody's going to these readers like, well, how much can you charge me to say that divine feminine is a bad wench or a prostitute? They tried to steal this person's identity. Divine feminine, divine masculine. Something here about Haitian. Okay. Sunny weather. Going through our pictures and text messages here. And then we have Voodoo Dial. Wow. Let's see. Who was this cousin that tried to set? Who was this cousin that was involved in the setup? Somebody that a part of the organization. It could be a tourist. Who was this cousin that was involved in the setup? Or they could be married. Who was this cousin that was involved in the setup? Page of Wands, it's an Aries, a younger Aries. 
Six of Swords. Okay. Give me these tarot readings. Who's the tarot reader doing these fake ass readings? Ace of Swords. Could be an air sign. Who the tarot reader that's doing these fake ass readings? Could be a Libra and a Gemini. Somebody's doing fake ass love readings as well. That's what I'm getting. These love readings is fake as fuck. All this to get a payout. So I'm going to pay you to do some fake ass reading so that way you can switch it. The Wheel of Fortune. So that you, you can switch somebody's fate or destiny here. This is somebody, mama that's doing this. What's the Empress? Who is the Empress? The fool. So whoever this Empress is, they're a fool. They're foolish. Mm. And they see, and we see them, the sun card. So they've been exposed as a fool. The ten of swords and the sun. They're doing they're the they're the ones being exposed as the betrayer, as the backstabber for money, for finances. Could be people that work. Well, yeah, the three of pentacles. Manipulated a work group, the magician, the three of pentacles. This was all a plan. Now somebody's trying to wait for a payout. But this is a backfire that's going to happen. Or somebody's going to have to give up with getting this fortune. Because they're not getting it. How they trying to get it is cheat. Yeah. So they could be doing work behind the scenes. For some hateful shit. Yeah, the five of swords. Or to discriminate against someone. Because they're a master. They're skilled at what they do. They're just a hater. But they're going to get rejected. It's a no. And they're going to have to leave. And start at the page. Because the fuck out of here. That was your reading, Leo. Like, comment, subscribe, turn your notification bell on so you will not miss any of my videos. Or somebody here could be lying on this empress. Either or. Or it could be somebody here that's that's a mother figure that's doing fake-ass readings. So, that was your reading. Bye.